Hey everyone, this is Salamander Anagram with ReactorTutorials.com and today I'm going to make a beginner's tutorial on using Reactor as an effects unit inside of a DAW. So I won't be doing very much at all in the way of building, but I will show how to link together some instruments and how to utilize Reactor inside of your DAW. I'm going to be using Ableton as an example, but it should be fairly obvious how to utilize these same techniques inside of whatever your DAW of choice is. So if you like this tutorial, please subscribe to our YouTube channel and let's get started. All right, so this is just a simple loop that I made utilizing a preset that is a part of the FM8 hardstyle package from ADSR Sounds. And I just chose uh, one of the arpeggiator presets so that I could make a real quick loop for us to work with today. So the first thing we're gonna wanna do is add an instance of Reactor FX to our signal chain. And make sure you use the FX version of Reactor here. If you don't, it'll simply replace the existing synth with a copy of Reactor, which is not what we want at all. And once inside Reactor, we want to use the File New Ensemble command. All right, so obnoxiously, Reactor kind of shrinks down real small when you do this. And you can fix this by going into File and into the Preferences. There's these boxes here that give you the minimum and maximum sizes of the Reactor window when you're using it inside of a DAW. And to get those to load properly, you have to close and then open Reactor again. Looks like I chose a Y value that was a little too big, so let me go shrink that back down to 600 or so. And we call it back up. All right. So this is a just gives us a little bit more room to work with. And you can travel to the structure view of your reactor ensemble by clicking on this button right here that says new. All right. So when you create a new ensemble, it has nothing in it besides an empty instrument. So let's just delete that and create ourselves a little space in the structure view here. And then we can start adding new instruments to our view by right clicking selecting the instrument menu and let's go into the effects menu and you see that there are a ton of effects that we can add to our project okay so a lot of these effects are really standard phasers and compressors and whatever we also have some pretty experimental effects which is kind of what reactor excels best at is creating these kind of crazy off-the-wall uh, sonic ideas so one of my favorite of the uh, more odd effects units is this one called Banan Electrique, or I'm not sure exactly how you're supposed to pronounce that. But So let's add a copy of that, and then we connect the inputs and the outputs like so. Actually, we press play, notice that our uh, synth unit is not actually playing through, and that's because it's running through Reactor here, but we're not actually connecting the inputs from Reactor to the outputs. So when we wire Reactor up all the way, uh, you hear... All right, so now we actually get some sound through. So now let's jump back to the panel by pressing the panel button up at the top here and you see we have access to all of our knobs and buttons and we can choose presets from the drop down menu at the top and all right so i like that preset so let's stick with that and we can go back into the instrument view and right click, go to the instrument menu and let's load up another effect. Let's go with the Stein phaser. And 
Running effects in Serial is very straightforward. Uh, you just connect the left outputs to the left inputs and the right outputs to the right inputs. And then when we're back on the panel view here, you can drag our new instrument uh, to wherever you want, but I like to have them kind of in the order that they're being processed in. Alright, so for good measure, let's just add one last instrument to our structure. Um, I rather like the Fusion Reflection instrument, which is a somewhat experimental kind of reverb delay device. Gives you some pretty interesting sounds. Let's drag that over to its location. Okay, and you can always turn Reactor off pretty easily. Alright, so I hope it's pretty clear that you can just get super creative with this and add some extraordinarily interesting effect chains together. Alright, this is Salamander Anagram with ReactorTutorials.com. If you guys like this tutorial, please check out our website as well. We have tons of written tutorials as well as a backlog of like seven hours of Reactor videos. So please check us out. Alright, have a good day.